All right, problem number three. Oh, look at that. We already have a free body diagram. Isn't that exciting? All right, so part A. What is the friction force acting on the object if the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared? Well, it's balance forces in the vertical direction. We have n minus w equals 0. Oh, but horizontally, our forces don't balance. We have the applied force Fa. We've got friction going left. And these sassy little forces refuse to cancel. So, <laughs> sorry, that, I don't know why I said that. Um, equals mass m times a. Oh, it's because they're unbalanced. So we have 30 newtons minus the force of friction. And that's going to equal m, which is 5, times a, which is 4. So when we actually isolate for part A, we'll end up getting that the friction force is 10 newtons. Pretty exciting. Okay, now for part B, we want the coefficient of friction. This is if you're in G period. So friction is mu times the normal force. Now, here we know that the normal minus the weight equals zero. Let's plug in some numbers. So the normal minus mg equals zero. So our normal force, minus 5 times 10, because that's m times g, equals 0. So we're going to end up getting a normal force of 50 newtons. So when we saw, we've got friction is mu times 50. That is, 10 is mu times 50. So mu equals 0 0.2. So that is problem number three, page six of the practice exam.